her. She's got some dorsiflexion and some plantar flexion ability, and we just got to kind of enhance it for her. How does she need to use it a little better? Um, and so uh, I chose to use Rewalk Restore, which is that de the device that use, uh, assists plantar flexion and dorsiflexion um, dynamically. Um, and uh, it also allowed us to train without her ankle brace, which is something we couldn't have done with, without this type of device. This is her very, very early on in her um, training sessions. And, and, and really, she didn't like to stand on her right leg and use the plantar flexion force. So we had to, had to have her um, cue her to say, hey, take a longer step on your, on your left side to be able for her to, to use the plantar flexion force because she just wasn't using it naturally. Um, and as she started to and actually started to use the device and use the assistance, um, the intensity started to ramp up quite a bit. And so the speed started to increase, whether it be on the treadmill or overground. So from an objective perspective, and I think this is interesting, she was fairly functional, you'd say, right? She's walking at um, 0.89 meters per second uh, without her ankle brace from a self-selective velocity perspective. And uh, fast, when you ask her to you know, walk fast without her brace, she's at about 1.15. After nine sessions of training, she had an increase of about like, you know, 0.33. That's, that's pretty incredible. Right. Yeah. And even higher uh, for the, the fast velocity, um, which if you think about our sessions, they were really targeted at fast velocity. So it was like a, a change of 0.66, I think, for the fast velocity, which, um, you know, our sessions were all as fast as she could, you know, do, uh, do while also maintaining good kinematics. So for her, I think it's really, um, I think, you know, I hope this example might illustrate like a, how this type of device like Rewalk um, can facilitate increased not only dosage, but also intensity. You can integrate the, the CPG action statements of that moderate to high intensity gait training um, and also using the exoskeleton to really facilitate um, addressing um, improving her movement quality while also getting high dosage and also decreasing her impairments. And I think that's kind of like uh, a dichotomy in, in PT is that you can't decrease impairments and really focus on movement quality while also still getting high intensity and dosage. And I think this is a potential avenue to, to actually achieve that successfully. This has been a highlighted clip from Rewalk's Topics in Neuro Rehabilitation web series. To watch the full episode, please go to the Rewalk Robotics YouTube page or visit the link in the comments below. See you next time.